Don, tonight the Portsmouth Sheriff is under fire. More scrutiny that he may have broken the law. Last week, we broke the story that Sheriff Bill Watson admitted he paid an inmate to do work at his house. State law prohibits that. Well, since it happened more than a year ago, the statute of limitations has run out and Watson will not be charged. But Andy Fox has some more potentially bad news for the sheriff tonight. Andy? Stephanie, the new claim that Sheriff Watson approved and allowed inmates from his work release program to do work on a political campaign, setting up a tent with tables and chairs for a political campaign fundraiser. We have obtained these pictures of Sheriff Bill Watson's inmate work crew setting up tents and chairs for a political fundraiser for Portsmouth Vice Mayor Paige Cherry, seen in the red shirt. The September 28th fundraiser was in this backyard of Cherry's neighbor. My campaign and I as well contacted the sheriff about the department about using the uh, using tents and chairs because I, I knew he'd done it before the people before all, all over town. Sheriff Bill Watson claims he did not know it was a political fundraiser. I wasn't told it was a political fundraiser. A private citizen called. One of these tents put up. They said for a fundraiser. We set tents up for everybody. Commonwealth's attorney Earl Mobley is looking into whether Sheriff Watson broke the state law, dealing with workforces and the authorized places they can work on public property, for nonprofit organizations, for charitable or social welfare purposes, work at a cemetery, at an abandoned nuisance property, not at a political fundraiser. We asked the sheriff about the code. Is he in violation of it? You have set up a tent and sent out your inmates to mm -hmm. set up that tent for him, mm -hmm. and you don't regret that. No. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that under the code, how that might not I'm apply? You. you see this code? That's what I think, okay? You keep drawing this up, Andy. You're trying to stir up a pot of beans, okay? These are taxpayers, all right? We treat everybody equally. Sheriff Watson also made this allegation that Commonwealth's attorney Mobley himself has used the sheriff's tent service using inmates. Are you concerned that Errol Mobley is now looking into this? I hope he is because he's got to charge himself then, doesn't he? I hope he looks into it. You don't live in a glass house and throw stones. That's an absolute falsity. I can't believe that a guy who has admitted breaking the law and who is making this a political issue is now pointing it at me as if I've done something wrong. Mobley showed us this receipt from Big Top Entertainment. The campaign paid the private company $943.94 for the tent rental. The sheriff has never put any tents up for me, and I wouldn't let him in my yard, to be frank with you. Now, for the record, Vice Mayor Paige Cherry, right here, has declared the September 28th event on his financial report, in-kind contribution from his neighbor and also for use of the tent. You can see it online at wavy.com. And tonight, the sheriff's candidates will debate tonight at 7 p.m. at the West Haven Baptist Church, corner of King and Caroline Streets. I tell you that because you can expect fireworks there tonight. And these issues will certainly be coming up. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.